What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? We are back, and we're going to be talking about something a little different today. And we are going to be talking about Assassin's Creed. Uh, we're going to talk about the previous 11 games that's been coming out over the years. And I'm going to rank my favorite from uh, least to favorite. Now, again, this is just my opinion. If you guys don't already know, I'm a huge Assassin's Creed fan. Uh, I've been playing it since the very first one came out. But uh, there's been good games. There's been bad since the franchise went ahead and came out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into... Assassin's Creed. Uh, now, starting at number 11, my least favorite is the newest one that came out was uh, Odyssey. Now, there was a lot of issues with Odyssey. I'm just going to go ahead and say that now. Again, you can choose as either you know a male protagonist or a female protagonist, and you get your choices of uh, conversation. So they really tried to take the Mass Effect slash what's your approach but there was no consequences on whatever you did you could just kill people all at one in a village and you could be a saint on the next day so it all depends but the entirety of the game felt like you were just upgrading more of your character and trying to take on enemies that you could not take on until way later in the game and it was just like you try to go to a lower level again and you couldn't do anything because everybody was the same level as you now but you could go like level two and go in the level 15 area and you just get massacred so and it was more like the gameplay the the naval gameplay was horrible uh the uh story itself was was okay now the, the now the the best part was going after the cultists aka the templars uh who started all this now this was the so-called previously beginning of the Templar Order, of the Assassin Brotherhood Order. So the entirety of the story was trying to figure out like what happened to your family, trying to go through this, that. But uh, Assassin's Creed Odyssey just missed the mark for me on feeling like an AC game and went, did not feel like it should be in the franchise. But coming at number 10, um, you guys should already know this, Unity. Unity... <laughs> I, I thought it was going to be a lot better. Um, it took place during the French Revolution. Uh, I thought it was going to be a great game. Uh, it did not feel like it was a great game. Uh, the characters were very lacking. Um, it made it feel like they were trying to make another Ezio with Arno due to the fact of uh, it's, uh, Arno was one of those characters you could not help but like at the same time. You couldn't help but mm, it, just, it didn't feel like he was really doing anything in the story. It didn't feel like that his story really mattered because yes, we know Shay that you know Rogue killed his father he later becomes an assassin because his adoptive father who uh the girl he's in love with elise uh her father takes him in raises him finds out he's a grand templar master then he gets killed and then we get this kind of romeo slash juliet thing within the entirety of the story which kind of lacked for me and i just i did not care for that i did not care for the gameplay you, you could be stealthy at one point then you could be uh as well going in just all guns blazing and, and it did not work neither worked I, I just didn't care for it arno was probably one of my least favorite characters in the franchise so that's how come ac unity uh what is in my lowest and at the same time when it first came out on xbox one you would think it was going to do great because it was literally the first game to be on xbox one for the Xbox One because it was on Xbox 360 for so long as well as PS3 and then we go on to Xbox One and it was supposed to be great but there's so many bugs so you guys cannot tell me there were not bugs because there was bugs in almost every single copy that was sold into uh, the franchise and the multiplayer was horrible as well so that's going to be my number 10 but coming in at number 9 if you guys already know AC3 uh, AC3 uh, I liked at first because it was it was very it was very cool we get to see um, you get to play as hate them and then you, you know you meet Connor's mother and then you Connor he becomes this naive child of one join the assassins and then gets trained by Achilles and then his his basically his move does not change Connor as a character just did not change. He he became very too open. He 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 was so focused on trying to protect his tribe and not really becoming an assassin. He was more oh I'm gonna kill Lee and then I'm going to um uh open my mouth about the assassins towards you know the future president. And it was the battles were great. Don't get me wrong, the gameplay was good, but at times it very lacked on what to do. You had your side missions, which was fine. Uh, the story itself kind of lacked due to Connor just did not evolve as a character. So that was the main problem I had with Connor. Um, he just he never changed. Now, 
going after Lee was probably the best thing because you wanted revenge of going after the murder of your mother, which I fully understand. And the entirety of the story, that's me what it was, it just felt like it didn't change. And there's a lot of memes now since, you know, AC3 was probably going to be the brand new point of the franchise. And it's just not. But that it goes to number nine for me. Now, coming in at number eight would have to be Rogue. Rogue pretty much felt like a... Uh, a stand-in between AC3 and Black Flag, and it really was, because Black Flag really set the tone for what we wanted in AC3, and Rogue came in, and Rogue pretty much just copied whatever Black Flag did, and you just changed up different characters, and, and not saying that Shay is a bad character, he's just there, he's not important really to the story, I mean, he's just there, you just change like what you would normally do as an assassin, you join as a Templar in this game, and pretty much all the characters, again, were just there. They weren't interesting. You just had your kills. You went through. You betrayed the Brotherhood because of you felt like they were becoming very selfish. They were killing people. They did not know anything about this. You were trying to stop them, and in your mind, that's what you're trying to do. Is you're trying to stop them, and the Templars were basically going, hmm, "Okay, well, we got somebody that believes this, so let's go along with it," and that's what necessarily happened. So the gameplay did not change at all in uh, between three to four to Rogue. So again, Rogue has to be number number eight on there because again rogue was one of those i thought it was going to be a lot better it could have been way better if it, it, if it was given time it could have been a lot better at, at its time and place because again it just felt like it was a copy so rogue is going to have to come in at that but now coming in at number seven and you guys are probably going to hate me when i say this but it's going to be origins um assassin's creed origins i gotta say it was fun when it came out because i like this thing let me let me first say that <clears throat> i'm a very big fan of ancient egypt I think that it was going to be a great uh, story. I thought it was going to be a great gameplay. Now, let me say gameplay really let me down. Gameplay really let me down. Um, I thought they were going to take more of Syndicate slash Black Flag and put this into the game, and they didn't. It, again, it really brought me down because I thought it was going to be just the most badass thing. We're going to have a great character. He was a Magi. And then, you know, his son gets killed. He goes on this quest of revenge. We just, you know, we get all this. And it was more, they, they put more <clears throat> than, I, I think they were trying to give you the stealth slash um, action state. But again, it felt like Odyssey where, again, I thought it was going to be just a little bit better than Odyssey at the time when, um, because I, I really strayed away from Assassin's Creed because of, of this, and I think Assassin's Creed Origins they put two more, they put more mythical than they did anything else. They didn't really put more historical figures in there. Yes, we meet Cleopatra. Yes, we meet you know um, all these characters, but at the same time, it was more like okay, well, we're just going to do this, and it was more. Again, it is. I love Bayek. I do. I love Bayek. He's a great character. His story is absolutely amazing. But the gameplay is what really strayed me away from this game. But the story itself was good. I will give it credit of the beginning of the Brotherhood where it really, really was founded and where it was built. It was more founded and built onto Origins. So I really do got to give that to the uh, crew. But I just wish they kind of went in a different direction for the gameplay. So that I got to give them. But at the same time, I think it could have been... A little bit better now coming in at number six um <laughs> again you guys may hate me you guys may not syndicate i'm gonna i'm just gonna go ahead and say this syndicate i, I like syndicate but syndicate did have its issues um syndicate when it came out i was blown away i was like oh my god this is gonna be such a great game during the industrial revolution you could do this you could do this a lot of people <clears throat> i'm gonna say this a lot of people bitch about the uh <clears throat> the uh gauntlet everybody said oh it's like batman it's like dude y'all they did it, let it go. So that's all I got to say about that. I mean, they put the buildings far away. Yes, they could have made it similar. But let's go ahead and just talk about Jacob and B. Fry. For the story itself, the story, they could have done a lot better with the story. I'm going to say this right now. They could have done better with the story. Um, I was not a fan of any of the side characters. They were very boring. They were just like, oh, we're going to meet Charles Darwin on the seat. Oh, we're going to meet, you know, Queen Elizabeth at the party. We're going to, you know, all these just random you know, times, and it really did feel like I'm on Glenn Stays. Now, I'm not a fan of Henry Green. He was probably my the worst character I've ever seen in Assassin's Creed. 
Uh, he was very bland. He was very boring. The relationship between him and Evie were very pushed. I felt like, again, they were just pushing it and pushing it and pushing it. And they just, like, oh, here you go. Let's put them together. And it made no sense on why they'd be together. Because, again, he, he was not... A failed assassin he was more of a behind the scenes of okay i'm gonna gather the information here you go he should just stay like that he should have stayed out of the field but they didn't do that and of course it was for character growth i understand that but again i, I just did not enjoy the character now evie and jacob i like them as characters i like them as twins i like their background i like them trying to rule together in london uh same power but again you have jacob who's ruthless one and then you have evie who wants to be stealthy cunning very charismatic same thing with jacob but jacob is one of those i'm going to come in guns blazing i'm going to ask questions which evie is one of those i like to ask questions and then go to brute force if necessary so i do like the characters gameplay was good but at the same time it just felt like it was lacking on some of the side characters such as the associates like for the things you were doing for henry things you were doing for the kids things you're doing for the uh, police officer, it just felt like it was more like, oh, okay, here you go. And now, I will say this: taking over the territories kind of felt like I was playing Saints Row slash GTA a little bit. So that's what kind of strayed me away a little bit more from this because it didn't feel like Assassin's, Assassin's Creed. It felt more like, oh, I'm gonna take this away. Which they started that in Black Flag and Rogue as well, which I'll get to here in a minute. But um, I will say that I think it could have been a lot better in Syndicate. Now, <clears throat> going on to the very first one of it's going to be number five uh, ac1 ac1 was very it started off the franchise but it could have been so much better it could have been a lot more um a lot more open the story could have been just a little bit better because it felt like you, you were having train wheels throughout the entirety of the game uh altair i love altair he's a great character the story introducing desmond knowing about the the animus and all this other kind of stuff it was great but at the same time it just it felt like something was lacking it just felt like they were holding back because again it, it, it felt like they were on ropes the entire time of this game and it felt like you had your train wheels on so the gameplay itself could have been a lot better and at the same time i felt like that it just could have been a better game at the same time and again uh getting different you know things you could have used throughout the game like you normally would but at the same time just felt like it was lacking it could have been a lot more open but ac1 will always be very dear to me because it was the start of a great franchise now going in at number four you guys don't already know black flag black flag was i, I love black flag black flag is probably one of my favorite games when it came out you know edward kenway is one of my favorite characters the setting you know being in the caribbean sea being a pirate then turned into an assassin but it felt like it could have been where he could have I, I would have liked preferred if he was an assassin first and then later became a pirate and kind of went back and forth but the gameplay itself just was very beautiful it was very amazing the gameplay was absolutely amazing being on the ship and everything and just it, it was just absolutely incredible and the story itself I, I have no issues with story other than that i think that they put edward to kill him in, in a way that i did not agree with but other than that i think black flag was just an amazing game Overall, it could have been just a little bit better if they had just had maybe just a bit, bit of better characters, such as the one they were looking for, um, who was in the Ancient Ones of the very first civilization. That was a little bit boring. Getting to see characters like Blackbeard and um, things of that nature was very well done as well, and I really enjoyed that relationship between Edward and Blackbeard as well. So, once again, Black Flag is one of those I can still play on and on again, and it just... I never get tired of it. Now, sometimes I will get tired of going into the water, trying to dodge sharks or trying to hunt and everything of that nature. It was a little bit different, and they try to bring that into road, but it was more fun than Black Flag. So, again, Black Flag is going to have to be number four on my list. Now, going in number three, Revelations was one of those that it concluded just an amazing arc, amazing story between two characters, Ezio, Altair, and Desmond at the same time, because I felt like this could have been the end for Desmond, because... Altair was one of those characters we get to go back and, and, and what happened to him throughout his lifetime of his of, of certain key moments in his life and we can see Ezio go into his final years, finally retire, becoming an assassin, you know, grandmaster of the order for so long, and be able to see this one scene where we get to see Ezio being the conduit for Desmond and then also being able to see Altair dead for however many years and mossy off and what was so great about that scene is they wrote it well it looked beautiful and the gameplay was was well done now there were issues with the gameplay where it felt like it was kind of again kind of felt like they went back to odyssey a little bit um 
you go into certain areas and you just get your ass kicked into certain areas. You're just killing people left and right. So, again, just felt like they were kind of doing that. But once again, AC Revelations was one of those just breathtaking at the time, and I will still enjoy it to this very day. Going in at number two, obviously, Assassin's Creed 2. Um, Assassin's Creed 2 introduced t- technically my favorite character of the franchise. I think everybody's favorite character is, you know, of course, it's the auditory. And be- beginning the story to train and to become an assassin and learn the ways and know more about the order and kind of gather through what happened to your family and become an assassin, building an empire, building a base, building a castle. It was really fun. It was more open. You didn't have to uh, deal with all the issues that they had in AC1. Anything that they had wanted to bring in AC1, they brought in AC2. It felt like a sequel, but it also felt like a brand new game, brand new character, brand new setting, and they just continued the franchise and it branched off in such an amazing way. I don't think nobody can under, could really uh argue that it was a bad game i think it was could have been a great game and i think it it, even to this day it would it would still be probably one of the greatest games that ever came out in its time and i I will definitely say ac2 is is up there to where i can still play it over and over again i will enjoy myself every single time just just the customization at the time being able to control SEO during that time frame and being able to to laugh be able to get very sentimental in certain moments be able to just enjoy killing certain characters be able to meet certain characters to be able to become the the, the character we know he's going to be it's very just amazing now obviously there's only one left brotherhood was probably my favorite getting to see Ezio become that the the grand master of the of the uh, brotherhood was absolutely amazing being able to rebuild from the bottom being able to see in Rome was very beautiful being able to send out different you know your recruits different everywhere being able to control them being able for like, again the story was just absolutely amazing the gameplay kept evolving it did felt like it was the same just a little bit in AC2 but again this is the first time they uh, really went into multiplayer at the same time the graphics were amazing so again Brotherhood just brought everything I think where it needed to be from a cinematic standpoint to a story standpoint to a character standpoint to a uh, development standpoint of a character development, which Ezio was very developed through the entirety of the, of the franchise for his character, which I was very happy about. They just did not keep him the same. He was developing all the time from his um, his strength, his weaknesses, his his uh, mannerisms to his uh, becoming from a young young male to an adult to an adult male to a older man that was very well respected, very well uh, groomed to be a uh, master of the assassin order. So, there you have it, guys. I, I love Assassin's Creed. I cannot wait for the next one. Don't know if we're going to be getting another one. There's been a lot of rumors about what the next Assassin's Creed is going to be. Now, I will give another review on the next Assassin's Creed game when it comes out. I haven't been really talking about because I really strayed away from Assassin's Creed these last couple of years. But hopefully, this brand new game can bring me back to the franchise I love so much and be able to just enjoy Assassin's Creed like how I used to. So. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. If you guys enjoyed, let me know your favorite games of Assassin's Creed in the comments down below. Would you guys agree with me? If not, that's okay. If so, let me know why. What was your favorite of the uh, franchise thus far? What are you waiting for for the next game? Let me know in the comments, and I'll see you on the next one.